one of my nieces married a pastor who went to northern Wisconsin to teach the heathens Christianity. Eh, okay. They lived off the grid. Well, let's see. They lived in this wall cabin, you might say, that had three inch, four inch thick insulated walls between one wall and the other two of the other walls backed up with a a brick wall. Yes, yes, so you had that as a you know foot of wall there on the northern side and parts of the east and west side. And the front side they had insulation too, and they had these windows bringing in sunlight. And they were basically off the grid. And they had, of course, they have a back off generator being off the grid. And I can tell you, that they said, very simple, that being off the grid said, um, when the wind blows, the power goes off. So they had uh, Coleman lanterns, they had candles, they had LED lights, you know, solar lights, Bell and Howe lights. So they had all this little um, stuff. And they had a propane stove, cooking stove, I mean, yeah, regular, regular cooking stove. And then they had also the, quote, the old wooden stoves like great grandmother used to have. She said, oh yeah, it was pretty great. Right next to that thing, it had, it had two tanks on either side for hot water. Great. We really liked it for a while. And the kids had homeschooling, uh, mostly. And um, their children went to high school. Right, when the local high, high schools, where the classes had 10 students in it. <laughs> what? 10 students? Yes, 10 students. Mostly of her children. Oh, they lived, they lived off the grid very well. What happens after the kids got out of high school? They really looked and the kids said, I don't want to live like this. I don't want to be near civilization. I want to have something called the internet. I want to be able to talk to people on a phone and not in a, into a radio. Yeah, yes, yes. You can have a CB radio. I don't want to live this lifestyle. So they moved. So where did they move? They moved to Florida. Which is about off the grid in the real world anyway. But being off the grid is, is hard. And people who do it are off the grid. They're self-sufficient. Um, these days, everybody's self-sufficient wants to be on the internet. So how do you get on the internet? One way is to tie into a buried cable. Going to a tower two miles off that way. Or being, having a tower two miles off. I say not everybody has a cable, but you have a a tower over here, which is a relay station for a tower over there, which is a relay station for a tower over there. And they're easy to maintain because all they are are towers. And a lot of these, quote, things, energy sources come from solar, wind, battery, and some, depending on where you live, like in the middle of Australia, you can have a nuclear power, which is low-yield nuclear power source. Um, in Russia, it's a cesium-137 unit. Dangerous? Sure, they're, they're buried 20 feet underground. You want to dig, dig through 20 feet of concrete? 
but being off the grid can you can do it some some people said i'm off the grid too because of my my lifestyle what do you mean my my lifestyle <sighs> well i use what 50 kilowatts a month the only thing that's going on in my house is a refrigerator You live in poverty. I've always lived in poverty. <laughs> I'm so used to living in poverty. I always live in poverty. Yes. My shoes. They're blessed by the Pope. Why do you say they're blessed by the Pope? They're holy. <laughs> uh.